This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging on yet another video review today. This time, taking a look at an application that uh, basically fills a hole in what Apple didn't include in the iPhone, and that is a solid PDF reader, giving you the option to view and modify PDFs directly from your iOS-enabled device. And uh, so the one that we're looking at today is called PDF Reader Pro, and it's right here on my springboard, ready to go. So without any further ado, I'm just going to slap this and get straight into it. So as you can see, you've got your basic kind of PDF document uh, slider here. You can go back and add all kinds of different folders if you'd like. I mean, of course, you can sort these by name, date, and size, etc., all of that good stuff. Um, so that's a, you know, a nice way to, uh, to do this. We should mention right off the bat that you do have iCloud support, so if you want to attach this to your iCloud server, you can do so, and then all of the PDF files that you have stored in there will be right here ready to roll. We're going to go ahead and show you what a PDF looks like on this, since uh, obviously PDF Reader Pro is meant to be used as a PDF reader, and then we'll dive in if, into a, a few more of the other features that are involved. But first, let's just do this. <laughs> All right, so there you go. As you uh, can notice by me scrolling through this, it does render these pages as it goes. It doesn't do them all at once, which saves on processing power and leads up to a uh, much more enjoyable PDF reading experience on the iPhone or iPad, which is a nice touch. At times, it can feel a little bit uh, chintzy, I guess is the word that we'd use, uh, but at the same time, you are saving processor power, and it works like a champ. You've got your typical uh, tap to zoom. Likewise, you've got um, <laughs> crashes. Whoops. Um... That's never happened to us before, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. But you've got a pinch to zoom if you'd like it. Likewise, you can do the tap to zoom in, etc., etc. That's really quite nice. If you tap once, you are given a lot of different other options as well. You have the zoom. You can also swap between these page views, which you can change a lot of this in the options under the settings. And you've also got just a uh, autoplay if you'd like. You have a couple other ways to view this. Lock horizontal, lock rotation, jump to page, email out if you'd like to email this to someone else. You can also do a text reflow if you'd like to reformat the text or text search, which is nice. Likewise, AirPrint is included, which is a great um, you know, way to get this out off of your iPhone and into a physical print format. All right, so that's basically the PDF viewing experience. It's uh, you know a lot similar to the other PDF readers that we've looked at at some point in the other during our uh, time here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. But what's really cool about this application is that it includes so many other things. For instance, if you hit this, you are given a uh, PDF document creator. You can scan a page by using the camera or the photo library, and this behaves in a lot of this uh, the same way as you would uh, use any other document scanner on the iPhone or on the Android platform. As you take a picture of a page, it rasterizes, it turns it into a, a high contrast image, basically. Um, from which you can then create a PDF very simply and then email those two people. They actually work quite surprisingly well. Uh, same thing with uh, PDF Reader Pro. It's spot on. It makes it very easy to take your old physical copies of things and then simply create uh, digitized PDFs of them. Likewise, if you want to grab PDFs from anywhere, you can get them Wi-Fi transfer, browser download, cloud storage, or your download tracker if you want to see what you've already downloaded. So there's that sample that I downloaded. Uh, one of the cool things about this app is the browser that's really quite nice. Um, you know, it's not going to replace your Safari, but at the same time, it is nice that this is here. And it makes it very easy to get PDFs that you know where they're located. If you're a graphic designer or anything else uh, of the sort, uh, then you're going to appreciate that because then you can pop onto your private server, grab your files, etc., and then just load them all down, especially if you don't use iCloud, which uh, I don't anyway. Um, as far as settings go, not too much going on. You've got some PDF reader, uh, you know, physical reader aspects of this. You can change the jump space, time interval, uh, scrolling method. Likewise, the file over here has got a few things going on. You can also adjust the media player if you'd like and set up Wi-Fi server authentication. Nothing too, uh, you know, major there. Aside from that, you know, you've got the buttons along the bottom that allow you to add new folders, import images, etc. All in all, it's just a very solid offering. Uh, you can also hit the query bar along the top here and then do a quick search for something. Um, so in essence, PDF Reader Pro is just chock full of uh, ways to view, modify, and uh, otherwise create your PDF documents from your iPhone, which is a great addition to the iPhone, considering Apple didn't uh, think about this on the front end. The price is not too bad either. It's $1.99, which is definitely within the range that we'd be willing to pay for this. So all in all, it's uh, really quite the bargain. We're going to give it a solid 4.5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. We think it's a great way to read PDFs as well as to modify or create them from your iPhone. Uh, and for that, we would be definitely willing to pay uh, you know, a solid 2 bucks. And as such, definitely earns a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. And that's all we have to say about it. To this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. But we'll see you guys later. Bye.